In this video, we'd like to look at problem number 27. And problem number 27 is asking us to find the horizontal asymptote of the function f of x is equal to 6x squared minus 9x plus 8 over 3x squared plus 2. And as we know, the way that we find a horizontal asymptote is we want to take the limit as x goes to infinity of this rational function. So let's write that down first. We know we're looking for the limit as x goes to infinity of this rational function. So let me write that down. That's 6x squared minus 9x plus 8 divided by 3x squared plus 2. All right. Uh, what we want to do next is we want to look at the top and the bottom of that rational function, and we want to ask the question, what's the highest power of x? And in this case, the answer is the highest power of x is 2. So we want to divide the top and the bottom of this fraction by x squared. So let's go ahead and write that down. So I get the limit as x goes to infinity of, on top I get 6x squared, minus 9x plus 8 divided by x squared divided by 3x squared plus 2 over x squared. Now let's simplify that just a little bit. I get the limit as x goes to infinity of, if I simplify this, I can break this into three fractions on top and on the bottom into two fractions. If I break up the top fraction into three pieces, I get 6x squared over x squared, which is just 6. I get minus 9x over x squared, which is minus 9 over x. And I get 8 over x squared, which is 8 over x squared. OK, so you can see how the top of this fraction simplifies down to this if I just divide everything by an x squared. On the bottom, I get a 3x squared divided by x squared, in other words, 3. And I get a 2 divided by x squared, which is a 2 over x squared. All right, now we're in a better position because now if I plug in that x is getting close to infinity, or x is getting quite large, then there are some things in this <coughs> fraction that are getting small like 9 over x. If x is getting big, 9 over x is getting small, 8 over x squared is getting small, and 2 over x squared is getting small. And so what's left over? Basically, I just have a 6 on the top, and I have a 3 on the bottom, or 2. So I found this limit as x goes to infinity. Uh, it ends up being 2. And now I can write the answer to the problem, which is what's the horizontal asymptote of the function? And that is just y is equal to 2. And that's my horizontal asymptote. Uh, one quick thing of note that's worth talking about for just a second is some of you might be saying, now come on. If I would have just started right off the bat by saying, let's look at these two values, the values sitting out in front of the x squared, it's a 6 and a 3. What did I end up with at the end here? A 6 and a 3. So in other words, I was able to take the two numbers that are out in front of the highest powers of x and just use them as the answer. And you might be asking yourself, does this always work? And the answer is, it does always work if you're dealing with a rational function and the highest power of x on the top and the bottom of the fraction are exactly the same. If they're not exactly the same, then you need to be a little bit careful. And so I go through this whole process because this is the actual process that needs to be gone through to always get the right answer, no matter what the power on the top and bottom are. If you recognize, though, that, hey, 
the power on the top, the highest power of x on top and the highest power of x on the bottom are exactly the same, then you could use the trick of just saying, hey, if I take the limit as x goes to infinity, then what I'm going to be left with is the coefficient of the x squared divided by the coefficient of the x squared, or 6 over 3, which is 2. That also works, and that's a shortcut for us. But be sure that you don't just know the shortcut. You also need to know where the shortcut comes from.